Hello YouTube and welcome to my top 10 favourite lightsaber designs. Ventress's dual lightsabers were used during the Clone Wars after she received them from her master Count Dooku. The curved design followed the similar design influences from Dooku's own saber, but being much more suitable to fight against other lightsaber wielders than deflecting blaster bolts. The fact that she uses two of them, which can then be joined together to make a double blade, makes it a very unique design. Exar Kun was a Jedi who fell to the dark side in the Old Republic era. His lightsaber originally had a single blade, but after accessing a Sith holocron, he adapted it to have two blades. What makes this lightsaber unique was that the blades could be adjusted in length, meaning opponents were constantly on guard. The future Emperor used an extremely elegant design for his lightsaber, using rare metals and possibly taking some design inspiration from the polished metal designs of Naboo. Chrome-plated and highly polished, the two sabers he possessed were rarely seen as they would immediately identify him as a Sith Lord. Sidious and his now non-canon master Darth Plagueis were both exponentially faster duelists than the Jedi, and only used the lightsabers themselves to humble the Jedi Order. Built to replace the lightsaber he lost in his battle with Darth Vader on Bespin, Luke's second lightsaber contained a single kyber crystal and emitted a green blade. Its hilt is similar to that of Obi-Wan's Kenobi's lightsabers from Episode 4, as Luke modelled his weapon on his late Jedi Masters, but using a more simplified design. Galen, also known as Starkiller, was his secret apprentice of Darth Vader from the Force Unleashed video game series. He used a functional rather than elegant design of lightsaber that included a unique element, an exposed kyber crystal. With limited resources to build his lightsaber, you can notice the homemade design that received a significant action over the two video games. Darth Malgus' lightsaber uses two actual blades in the hilt and it was used by him during the Great Galactic War at the time of the Old Republic PC game. He used it in many battles including against Jedi Master Cal Chen Darish, shown here and also during the sacking of the Jedi Temple. He kept his blade throughout all of his time with the Sith Empire and even when he turned his back on this and the Sith and created his own empire himself. Kylo Ren's unique lightsaber is based on a design from the time of the Great Scourge of Malachor, which took place several thousand years before the time of the movies, and is also the first design we've seen to include cross guards. The blade owes its ragged edges and unstable appearance to a single cracked kyber crystal at its heart. In contrast to the simple weapon design based off his former master's weapon that he originally constructed, Kenobi's new weapon featured a much more skeletal design. He used this lightsaber during the closing years of the Clone Wars and was used in action over many battles, most notably being his duel on Mustafar against his former Padawan Darth Vader. Obi-Wan kept this lightsaber for many years after this and used this weapon once again for his second and final duel with Darth Vader on board the Death Star. Darth Maul's unique lightsaber design is actually comprised of two separate lightsabers fused together. When this first burst onto the scene in Star Wars The Phantom Menace, this generation had not seen a lightsaber of this design for thousands of years. Maul's dexterity and extensive training allowed him to use his weapon as a single-bladed lightsaber, or to activate both single blades and fight multiple opponents at once. In the number one spot we have Anakin Skywalker's lightsaber originally used during the Clone Wars that ended up with being used by his son Luke and ultimately is now being used in the new film The Force Awakens. Where it goes from here we shall see but thanks for watching. That's it for today. For more Star Wars videos like this and all around Star Wars goodness hit that like button or subscribe here and uh, keep in touch with the channel. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.